And we have the results of the Guernsey Hall Fall Heifer Class of the International Guernsey Show. We ask that our junior winners step forward to be recognized. Our second place junior finisher, number 2064, Monisha Creeks Banger Eleni, pre presented by Mina Schmidt, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Our junior first place finisher, number 2063, Idlemont Laredo Rhyme ET, exhibited by Laura M. Jensen, Comstock, Wisconsin. Our third place overall finisher, number 2058, Cooley Crest Fame Joanna ET, exhibited by Clark and Joy Vilter. Heartland, Wisconsin. Our second place finisher, 2049, Cooley Crest Fame, Terran ET, Foggy River Dairy, Columbus, Wisconsin. And our overall winner, first place and best bred and owned, number 2059, Spring Hill Mentor Jazzy ET, Marshall Overholt, Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge Estes, tell us more about what you saw in this class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this heifer calf class, uh, fall calf class, I think a calf, this, this was really a tough class to line up. I'm going to be honest with you, all the way down through. It was just hard to come out, but these two heifers sort of sorted themselves to the top. Very correct heifers, not the biggest heifers in this class, but more correct on those feet and legs than the heifers down below. I think these two heifers excel for that reason. They're well-balanced heifers. They're very straight in their lines. Giving the advantage to the heifer I'm starting with, she's a little more depth than that fore and rear rib, maybe just a little uh, stronger in behind that shoulder there. But I get, love the style and the general appearance, especially on the move, the heifer and second. Give her a little more general appearance and straightness there with the top uh, and the heifer I'm starting with. The deceiving heifer is a real sharp heifer in third, does not want to show very good. She's really a heifer that uh, drags around a little bit. Beautiful shouldered heifer, but you'd like to change the set to those legs and uh, get her any higher. She just doesn't have quite the overall balance in those legs. We get into fourth, a heifer that's really straight in the lines, a big upstanding type heifer, but a heifer that just needs a little more depth of rear rib and rear fore rib, and she'll get that with age. The tremendous heifer. Probably one will get better with age, and that's what you like to see. The heifer that's really hard in this class, then we get into these heifer that's really got a lot of growth and substance, a lot of upstandingness, but we'd like to change the set to those legs. Just like NASCAR, looks like the wheels are coming off some of them, and we don't like that very well today.